we try to encourage people to rise early in the morning and meditate, practice some yoga, then gather together in the company of like-minded people. We call it the Sad Sangat. It's the company of the holy. That's another way you could put it. So you can start your day on the right foot and feel your soul and your body nurtured so that when you step into the world for your day, whatever that may bring, you have a base of something to come back to, some kind of reality, especially if something difficult happens or if you're in a stressful time, you can always have a little bit of better understanding and ability to cope with the things life brings. So here in New Mexico, we have a really beautiful Gurdwara, which is a Sikh place of worship. Gurdwara means guru's door. So it, you're entering through the door of getting your knowledge, of finding your space with your inner knowledge. That's kind of like the spiritual aspect of looking at going in the door. Our practice starts at about quarter to four, and we do a prayer which is called Japji, which was written by the first guru, Guru Nanak of the Sikhs, and it really explains the universe. And of course, as you read it throughout your life, I keep finding new things that I hadn't really thought of before or realized. It's a journey every day. Then we practice Kundalini Yoga for about 40 minutes. And then we do about an hour of chanting together. And this practice can be done by yourself at any place with a group. But we try to encourage people to come together so there's a support system. And then we finish with a small Gurdwara service in our building here, which involves singing a kirtan together and praying together for the well-being of the community and of the planet and also infusing that prayer with how walking into the day of wondering how we can serve the planet, how we can serve anybody we meet with a smile, with some food, with some love, just going into your day with hopefully that you can carry that on throughout your whole day. And then we finish with a reading from our Guru Granth Sahib.